My dear brothers and sisters, in this beautiful gospel text of the visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth, one thing seems to be very clear, that Mary, in spite of her own pregnancy, travels miles and miles and miles to spend time with her cousin. In other words, this beautiful virtue of our Blessed Mother comes to all of us today. That of being able to put the needs of others before our own. That of being able to reach out to others out of concern and love without counting the cost. My dear brothers and sisters, each one of us perhaps because of social distancing and the times we are and restrictions that have been enforced may not be able to do much of visitation. But for those of us who have the opportunity, I'm sure there is much joy in the people we visit, whether it would be our parents, our siblings, or someone who's sick, or someone who needs our time and attention, or perhaps someone who's in recovery. And I know how much of joy it brings into the life of the person we visit, even if that person does not, in so many words, express it. The visitation is a reminder to each one of us of how we are supposed to live our lives, always concerned about other people, always reaching out to others in love. This can happen, my dear brothers and sisters, when we experience the presence of Jesus in our own lives. Mary becomes the first tabernacle, the one who would behold the promised Savior of the world. And taking Jesus with her, she visits her cousin Elizabeth. In other words, she takes Jesus on that visit to her cousin's house. And this is what is expected of each one of us. When we visit another person, we are to take Jesus with us. And how much more blessed we will be and the person we visit will be as well. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.